Greetings to you all, and welcome to a Let's Play 3,000th Jewel. God, that's a bit of a mouthful, that. 3,000th. I'm going to need the practice saying that. But welcome. We have a new game to explore. Ooh, it has rumble on the controller. I'm already impressed. I look ever so slightly edgy. I assume that's me. First instinct as a gamer is to go completely against what the game wants you to do. Left stick up to investigate. That is bizarre. I don't like this. Okay, let's actually read this. Alright. Reading that gained us absolutely no information whatsoever. Moving fast or dodging. What's easy? Dash. Right trigger. Got it. Okay. R2. PlayStation controller. Not Xbox. So buttons are not accurate once again. Using the old square shaped X button to attack. Can I not do an air dash? I'm disappointed. Oops. You have to give me a second to learn the controls here. I appear to have mastered combat. Not entirely convinced I need to crouch at this moment in time, but thank you, game. Nobody saw that. A bizarre aside, but the way the souls are entering me reminds me of uh, Onimusha. Anyone play that game? PlayStation 2? Yeah, it must be PS2. God, I'm old. I can't even remember what consoles games were for anymore. Alright, weapons are good. Understood. What do we got then? My ring doesn't go on without my say-so. Increases attack, that's what we like. We'll view the stats in more depth later. Seems that crouch attack is the same as attack. I stand up to slash. Disappointing. Wonder if we can do things like jump and down and attack. Nope. Good day. Farewell. My woman seems to have some serious bulk behind her. I cannot drop off of any ledge without causing a mild quake. I'm not using dash enough, I should use dash more. Mainly because the animation looks gorgeous, look at that. That animation looks less gorgeous, what is that? You require an MP. Understood. Okay, it's just a different button. Aha. I choose to level up. Oh, don't make me actually choose things. You gonna tell me what any of these things do, or do we just play the guessing game? Um... I mean, strength is going to do damage, so... Apparently I chose to level up my activity. I... What? Okay. 
Oh, hang on now. Crouch dash. Map. I'm just pressing the buttons, don't mind me. How did I... Oh, crouch and jump. All right. Understood. Understood. I wish I still had my mortal strike. I feel like it was intended for you. Never mind, my sword is deceptively long range. I severely hope I can follow him into the air after that. It's alright, I've tried this platforming thing once before. I know what I'm doing. The fact I can't dash in the air is a bit sad though. Hang on, did I just float momentarily after that? There's no way I'm not going up there. It's possible that I'm not going up there. It's also occurred to me that I'm nearly dead. Ducking not quite the evasive maneuver that I believed it to be. Alright, game. Clearly I've missed something here. That's alright. Can you see my mouse if I use it? No you can't, because it's full screen. Just looking at the little gaps in the floor on the map screen, doesn't seem I miss anything. Okay, this never happened. I'm not going down that badly to the first enemy after I resume a save. Oh, is there no cooldown on this? Oh, there is, but it's not very big. Never mind. The cooldown is the yellow bar. Well, I'm liking this, I'm liking this. can actually avoid enemies unless I blink forwards because I get impatient. Stop that guy from attacking. Nice, nice. Tried to dash in mid-air. Failed. Not so nice. Oh, right. Probably shouldn't be in such a rush. Let's just uh, enjoy the moment, shall we? Seems the trick is you want to get on top of enemies. Because when you're attacking them, they don't have a chance to retaliate. You've just got to close the gap as quickly as possible. Go on, spit. This seems kind of unfair. Alright, we're getting the hang for it now. Hang of it, not for it. I feel like I was destined to die within the next five seconds. I'm working my way around, right? And I'm going to come back up here, I think. Just how it looks. Good start. You have no idea how difficult it is to save your dash to evade. Every fire of my being wants me to dash forwards to get through things faster. 
That's just the way I'm built. Uh, that. Hmm. Hmm. So I can explain that. Honestly, guys, I'm not that bad that I would just run off that platform. I held up. Because I thought if I hold up, I'll be able to sl slash upwards. But that's not true. And because I'm playing on an analog stick, if I hold up and a tiny bit to the right, I start running. I miss D-pads. It's alright, it's all experience, it's all practice. The landing lag when you jump from a great height is not helpful. Alright, one more, come on. This time we're going to utilize the ancient art. I thought that was a karma orb! Well, this is just appalling. This is probably going to end up being the tutorial. That's what we call luck rather than judgment, that dodge. Alright, we got through a screen of clearly telegraphed enemies without taking damage. I'm proud of myself. Come on, little kind of rabbit blob. Let's fight. Does that thing only do two damage? My... What's it called? Mortal Blow? It's as powerful as two regular attacks. Disappointing. Alright, I'm not falling for it this time. You have to destroy Karma Orbs. Got it. Watch this. Genius. Woodland creatures destroyed. What, what is this? Is this equipment? It sounds pretty occult. It's not occult. And I cannot accessorize using it. Seal broker stones to unseal skills. I like the sound of this. We've got two of them. Oh, right, it's a sort of skill tree. Or sphere grid. Increased defense, that sounds like a waste. Become invincible whilst dashing. That could save my life. Aren't I kind of ethereal though? How am I taking damage anyway? Information not yet known. Maybe we save points? I mean, this skill's got a picture of a sword. That means it's good. Increased damage on what? That's pretty good as well then. We could just all in on this mortal blow skill. Mm -hmm. Looks like I'm going to have to pick. Which uh, special skill? Like, whoa, whoa, this is a big tree. You know what, screw it, make me invincible when I dash. Oh, it grows to the right as I skill. Okay, so I have to invest some points. I understand, I understand. Was all this just for a damn reward? Okay, thank you. Whew. Unjustified outrage. But now I'm calm. Ow. Hello. Don't start with a punch, that's not fair. I do like teasing the absolute max range of my slash, though. Max 
Map, where am I? This is getting very open-ended very quickly. So this is going to be the place I saw earlier. Love it. No, wait, there's a safe point up there. And a place to spend karma. Come to me. Level 2 to level 2. Hmm. Growth capability. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I thought you had to press the select button in order to level up. Like my strength. Like that. Does nothing. You have to press the right arrow. I gain... I gain a seal breaker stone by doing this. Require karma. 103. 105 for the second level. Not actually just 105. Okay. What happens when... It's, uh, my damage goes up by about... 5%-ish. HP goes up by HP. I, I feel like I'm going to need HP because I... I mean, there's no nice way of saying this, but I'm getting my head kicked in by nigh on every enemy I face, so... How about we do an even split? And we get some stones. Alright. What does this cost? One, one... Oh yes, everything on the mortal blow. Wonderful. What's his other option? Fragment of memory. That's just like a, a log. Okay. So pleased with those choices, I'm going to save straight away. Watch this! Now it does at least three damage. You're not a very threatening enemy if you just hop on the spot. But I can appreciate the effort you've made. Curses. If only my sword was slightly longer. It'd be nice if I had a little bit of a grace period on exiting rooms. Enemies don't need to respawn instantly. About a one screen grace period. Just a thought, just a thought. Alright, where are we going? That's some sort of portal room. Clearly we need something first. Oh, hello again. I could just farm karma off these guys all day. Not exciting, but effective. It's a button! You can install or replace it. Potion. Got it. Thanks. How do I use it? Is it under equipment? Ah, oh, yes, here we go. Did the game actually tell me how to use the items or just how to equip them? Use item up. Okay. I don't want to press it because then I might use up my violet scripture. This looks like a boss room. Gaming instincts unmatched. Demoted? The oh, poor guy. What? Aha! Oh, you're knocking up. You're knocking up stones, I understand. I tried to use my invincibility whilst dashing. It let me down. The 
that time I was just testing to see if he could actually hit me. Right, not an e hmm, not an easy boss. I think it's fine with the old dash in and out, but my question is, how do I jump over him? All right, we're not here to see farming. See you later. You're in trouble now. I've worked out how to use a uh, an item. It's a karma orb. Oh, was that because that's where I died? Oh, I'm retrieving. It's like retrieving my corpse. Okay. I get it. I get it. Wait, why does my own memory try to kill me? All right, just don't let him come forwards. If he comes forwards, we're snookered. Why do I hit gunshots? Not on that skill, on the other skill. There it is. You hear the swipe, but then off screen. It's rocks. Okay, it's rocks hitting the ground. Don't mind me, guys. No, don't, don't change. I was understanding this pattern. That's not, that's not a fair move there. say I think for a first boss this is pretty good I mean there's there's patterns to learn there's second phases it's pretty exciting now god damn it man I'm not dying beware the violet scripture Ow. Dash through his legs. Multiple ways to deal with his attacks too. Very nice. Dashing away. No time for posing for the camera. Oh, I'm out of here. Okay, stall or replace the occult. Okay, that's magic, is it? Are you a skeleton? We are a, a cult indeed. Right, what a cult do I have? Demoted rider shoots rocks. I like it. I don't like it. It's useless. Ah, it's ranged, I suppose. So what does this button do? Nothing. Reward me. Well, is that a piece of one f karma? Surely not. Ow. I'm not too good at this whole levers thing. attack my good man that's also an interesting attack 
Got a bit of decap attack going on. Crumble to dust. I feel like the game is mocking me. My only place of escape is down this pit. Why, why do I sometimes jump with a little puff? God damn it. Tell you what, we need to spend some more karma. This game is not forgiving enough for us to just... I can't spend karma here, I need the statue. Damn it. I'm scared of this small goblin creature. Should we use the scriptures? When do we get more scriptures? Maybe we should use them. Screw it, we're using them. It's okay, I have confidence in my platforming, just not in my ability to fight monsters. Oh, I don't like this jump. Okay. Thank you, platforms. I shall remember your kindness. Yes, teach me. Can I select that somewhere? I don't think I can. It's probably in here. Yes, here we go. But I haven't finished my extending line, so I don't think I can use it yet. Wonderful. The greatest statue of all. Now I have no idea what mind and activity are. This is probably the spells I'm chucking out. But what would activity be? Do we want some activity? Oh, stamina. I see. And mind is MP. Alright. These are clearly the best choices I've got. But we'll have some activity. Why not? We're going to be a non-magic based... I said, I said non-magic based. There we go. Do we want more HP or do we want... We want more damage. Right, perfect. That also gives me some stones. Shall we just increase our defense? Because we're probably changing to the other skill, aren't we? At least for a while. Oh, no, never mind. We have both skills. They're just different buttons. X and Y. As I look at my controller. Square and triangle, then. Right. Ooh, now that, that looks like a kind of thing I could do with. you got to understand the areas that you need help in. And you got to seek them out. So here is my new sk Hello. I'm just going to test my skill. Is that alright with you? Just stay there. Looks suspiciously similar. Who are you? Okay. Where am I? Understood. Q. 
Kill it before it attacks again. Right. You're in a very annoying place, my friend. That will do. I tried to duck that. Didn't work. I keep expecting him to throw his head at me. Don't do it now. Wait a minute, I got the buttons wrong on this. What was this thing? Eh. Which button's X? That's why. Ah, it's hold down re the regular attack button. Okay. I like it, but it does no damage whatsoever. Do my violet scriptures regenerate over time, or do they come back at the save point, or what? Eat rock. I'm all out of ideas. Don't stab yourself, man. That's not the way this works. I can see why you died. I do like the combo nature of the mortal blow. Where you knock them up in the air and then whack them a bit on their way down. It's nice. Generally speaking, I like whirlwind based skills in most games, but. It means I can't dodge. I'm going to kill this thing before we go upwards. All right, there we go. Something about the way this woman fights is just naturally very pleasing. The whole knocking enemies into the air and dashing through them to dodge their attacks, it make the combat feels rather engaging. Oh, I'm in review mode. Hang on. Let me let me take it back to let's play mode. Yeah, have at thee. There we go. I want to hit this. Uh -oh. Curses, a door. My one true weakness. I'm trying to cut the, the wooden thing through the floor. Not working. I got the colour of the mushroom right, but I was careless. Colour of the mushroom. Okay. Alright, alright. Let me reset this room. What do I have to do? Break the red one. There's red mushrooms there, I see. Or we'll possibly break all the blue ones because of the blue door. We'll start with trying red only, because this is red up here. 
Alright, alright. Next time I'll try all of the blues to match the door. I don't mind doing a puzzle. You there, help me. I got the colour of the mushroom right, but I was careless. So there's going to be like a boss behind that door. We all know this. There's the yellows. Yellows and reds. Is the white spot supposed to be a yellowish colour? Apparently not. How about I just kill everything? Is that the right colour? Possibly I need to do something in the previous screen. Let us explore. Or am I collecting these in some way? No, no, I'm not. Oh, karma fragments, alright. One, two, three, four, five. Is this telling me something? Have I got to break them in order? Because I don't read this language. I got the colour of the mushroom. Do they glow different colours? No, they all just glow their actual... Well, that's more green. Oh, symbols in the background. Green, blue, green, blue, red. I gotcha. That's the point where everyone watching gets to be like, oh yeah, I, I, to I totally saw that within five seconds. Nobody saw that. I was killed by a mushroom. I was careless! You were right, skeleton, I was careless. I did not burn. I was crushed. How did I fall for that? Don't mock me. What are you? Wraith. I'll call you a wraith. Not gonna lie, I am a bit disappointed in myself for falling for that. Come. Like the way this guy is just panicking and looking worried over here. Oh, good lord, this woman, she killed the dog. play that game. I despise mushrooms. How far have I got to go to get back? Ah, oh, not that far. That was a save point. I think it just took a while because there's a bit of platform riding involved. And this guy is disturbing to fight. I sort of feel sorry for this one. It's okay, let's adapt a more conventional strategy this time.
But the other thing is, there's going to be a karma orb to remind me of my failure. Goblin had a ring. He's the only equipped enemy we've faced this entire game. We will explore the menu momentarily. Death with all mushrooms. Alright, let's have a look here. What have we got? Items, keys. Alright, equipment. Thing there. Sharp energy. Shoots dark blessing that penetrates through enemies. Costs two instead of one. Well, yeah, try it for a bit, I suppose. We can have two rings. Oh, nice. We've realised we've got more than one finger. Increase your attack. Decrease your defence. Probably not wise for me. But we're doing it. No, oh, I forgot about the karma orb. Oh. I mean, it's already broken, so I don't actually have to do this again. But goddamn, I'm going to prove I can dodge this mushroom. game, why do you taunt me like this? You make me look like a fool at every step. I'll wait for a cleaner jump here. You could just leave, but... Well, that looks just like my previous spell. So we're going to get back up if we ever wanted it. It's a sorry excuse for a bat. Here we go, that's what we're all here for. I require some kind of shop to turn in this useless ring. What else you got for me? You got a pit. I like pits. Always go the least obvious way first. Lord, that thing hits hard. Okay, I take full responsibility and blame for that one. I was not prepared for that thing to come at me quite so strong. Alright, we're getting faster. We're not getting better, but we're getting faster. Does that mean I lost my ring? No, I get to keep it. Alright. I don't know why I'm killing this guy, he's of no threat to me. Can 
Might just run off. Will it chase me? It will. Okay. Time saving found. Hang on, isn't that ring better than my first ring? Cheeky. Good lord, he hits hard! Why is everything in this game so strong? Now, after complaining that the enemies hit too hard, let me put on this pure damage ring. Lovely. Ow. Okay, so this time, let's not go down, because that was terrifying. Although, mm, looking at the world map, I don't think there's going to be another save point, is there? I think we're going to do another loop-de-loop. -loop. Whatever, we're going to try going right just to mix things up. What do you got for me? Oh, this is a boss room. Oh, it's not a boss room. But it has got these enemies which are even stronger than bosses. Die, mushroom scum. No chances. I'm beginning to dislike blue doors. Wasn't there something upright as well? Oh no, there wasn't. Well, those incredibly strong... Uh, I don't even know what to describe them, describe them as. Clowns. Mad pumpkins. Seems to be our only way. Oh, this was the other path I was thinking of. Oh, hello, button. Save point. Wonderful. Not a level up point, but that's okay. I no longer fear death. Funny how some enemies are so weak, like this guy. I'm getting out of here. I don't want to fight them again. Where am I? You just know in games like this, if you let the bats live, they are going to knock you off a platform at some point. It's just the unwritten rule in these games. At least my mid-air attack's pretty good. Yeah. 
noticed I built up a certain distrust of this game as I slowly descend platforms. That's not in the slight bit ominous. Is anyone near the save point? Yes. Not that I want to save, but I do want to level up. How much karma is in a fragment? 50? Is that 50? Alright, let's be realistic here. Go on then, we'll do a little little bit of mind. Eh, maybe that's a bit over the top. Hey, we, that looks like a nice split. A little bit of everything. Generally not particularly good at anything specific. Probably the worst choice I could have made. I like it. Reduce damage taken, that looks good. This skill I've decided is awful. I never use slide. Lowers enemies defense. That might actually make it do something, I suppose. What's this? Increase the damage of mortal blow. We do like mortal blow. Use the chance of lowering the enemy's defense. And then what was this? Oh, you see, that that's more useful than any of the stuff before it. Tell you what, we'll start with Mortal Blow, because I want to know if this still extends the bar. No, it doesn't. I have to pick stuff that's directly linked to this useless skill. Alright, well I want this passive at the bottom. Alright. I can't use this thing, because I haven't found it yet. Okay. Understood. But hopefully it's better than this. Ballet is not what we need. I've said it multiple times. And been wrong. But this is a boss room. Good day. Do you have a pattern I can memorize? This is Spider. Do you have enough hit points? Okay, I can't touch your legs. I can chuck rocks at your eyes, though. This is the learning fight. That was supposed to be teleport, but I pressed the wrong button. You have to forgive me on that one. I don't like this. Okay, we're out of magic. Not a problem. Where are you? This fight's gonna take a while. I should probably just let myself die so that we can uh, try it again with full HP now that we got a feel for the fight. But that's not in the spirit of things. Let's go for it. That's my phone! Hang on. And thanks to the magic of editing, no time has passed. Though I must thank the spider for patiently waiting.
I've lost my rhythm though. Apparently so has she. I swear I pressed that button. Look, you can see my stamina bar isn't full. You can see I pressed the button. For dash. Damn it, game. Karma Orb is more frightening than the spider. Ow. Don't change your mind in midair. Do I die if she hits me twice? I think I do. Ooh, this trying to get my defense up is not working. Hello. Just prioritize dodging. We'll be A okay. Oh, yep, that went well. Hmm. Bit of a range issue on the spell there. Improv dodge. going into this phase who are far more risky to attack. Just play it slow and we'll be fine. Is it jumping further now? Or is it just to do... No, I think it's jumping further. It has got red eyes. Does that mean it's stronger? Utilising everything I've learned. I'm ducking and jumping and dashing. Farewell, cursed spider. Thank you, generic pop-up noise. As is tradition, I will immediately switch to this. And use it. It's awful. We send two different blue doors. Which one are we going to go to? What does this color coordination mean? Oh, save points. Right. Yes, there were saves in the bosses, weren't there? Okay, that makes sense. Uh, right. Let's go. There's a place we haven't been, isn't there? Yeah, on the bottom row. All right, let's go there. A 
first take. Do I want to wait for a platform or risk the drop? Okay. I'm assuming this is just going to be for a chest or something like that. What a spell. Interesting stuff. Okay, that's a one-use potion, unlike the scriptures. Right, okay. Critical. I didn't even know I could crit. Oh, screw that. We'll stick with the tried and tested attack rings. It's an interesting attack pattern you've got there. Just don't let him attack. The tried and tested method for defeating any enemy. If it can't attack, it can't beat you. Unless you jump into that spike pit, which I nearly did. If you excuse me, I need to very slowly reverse this screen. These things aren't even violent. They just want to go about their business. You are no match for me, blue door. You what? At this thing. And it was a second attack mid-air. Okay, it's just just like a passive. Mortal blow damage though. No one cares about this charge blow skill, let's be honest. Ah, that sounds pretty good though. I'm not lying. Why would you Give me a Karma Fragment immediately next to a save statue. I'm obviously going to use it. Why wouldn't I? Might as well just give me the Karma. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, I can't skill anything else up. Should we just go for the Vitality then? You know, I feel like the vitality is better because all I need in boss fights is the time to learn the pattern. To that end, should we go for this? Before we go for this. I want both of these. Both of these are good. Ah, we'll go this way. There's something snoring. You know what, mate? I could do with an app too. I'll pick this up in the next episode. Hopefully you'll join me for that. And I shall see you then. I shall this guy. Let's just enjoy his rhythmic snoring for a little bit longer. I like the way the beat goes up at the end.
Wonderful.